CTs ready and waiting. It's the tightest choke point on the map, and Ikuna could lead them to a real disappointing finish to the round here. There's a kill for the CT side, but now they know it's a stack. They'll be checking every crevice wow. of this area, and it's actually a nice three-man spread out for Cold Zero. That's his first three kills in the game so far, so he's happy with that. Yeah, good to get on the board. Nobody likes sitting down there on the donut. It's a very familiar place for me. Uh, but uh, Nico, we'll get that highlight of his one tap there onto Carrigan. Now, moving forward, we will get the guns coming out here. I'm expecting to see the big green. In the open. Oh, it's, it's got to be done now. Oh, there's a, there's a chance here with this flank. The smoke available still for rain. I don't know. Good shot. A chance with this from Ast. They are making it work. A two on two now, but time, time is ticking away. Still need two frags. Taking four damage here. The defuse has Bobby to come won. in right now. He'll touch it, but no chance. Surely, Boxy with the P2000. He gets the kill, but not the round. It's going to be 10-5 as FaZe Clan stretch their legs out here on the T side of Nuke. They were 4-1 down, and they absolutely blow the half out of the water. We'll take a break to catch our breath and see if Mouse Force can come back to life. On everything coming together as you see the upper rush from Carrigan. He will lead the way. The flashbangs be delivered and Cold Zera ready and waiting for a couple of kills here. Check him. So now they're going to assume it's clear and Rain has actually done it all. Carrigan said, watch out for him when he's hitting shots. You've got something to fear. And Rain has found a quad kill in the pistol to make that very statement himself. Wow. Okay, so that's called the God Flash, uh, the one they threw from T Spawn. You get it through the <laughs> skylight from the white truck and it means it blinds the entire upper bomb site usually. But if you're not checking the key, positions you might have flashed him but it doesn't really matter cold zera he got the cover from rain he got two frags towards the main entrance wow that was ins actually insane uh i didn't realize it was that sick i'll be honest um <laughs> but uh cold zera got away with murder there quite literally as he got flashed and then at that point found two eco with the play from hell there he does manage to bring them back into the round, but it might not be enough. Brokey with the flashbang towards upper. He's got the AWP, bear in mind as well. Going to throw an incendiary towards the hut just before they made their final commitment here. He throws it towards squeaky door. That could be even better. Flashbang to come in. And Carrigan, he'll sit inside the aforementioned hut. Nico to make his final play. Utility is down, but time is of the essence. They haven't found an early quick kill. Now Nico has. Oh. If they win this round now, it could be enough. The flashbang comes through. Oh, so Carrigan the challenge he here. And the defuse comes in. And... Oh. Actually, no, he gets him, he gets him. It's all fine, Carrigan Ooh. will have enough to save the... Kurt Carrigan getting out some early utility. They're putting that P250 for an early sight line. He will call nothing oh. there. Oh, and nothing left. Cold Zera, one bullet fired so far in the server. A single bullet. And Nico's... Oh, Nico is doing what Cold Zera... Oh. <laughs> Four kills from Nico. He's driving me insane. That's okay. What Still into question. At yes. Yeah. But uh, we are... Chris is going to find another very one. Very positive. And Chris has snuck oh, out. Nico nearly went down <laughs> as well. My lord. But there we go. It's the same old story. Mouse ports catch Nico unawares. Or FaZe, I should say. Nico never unaware. Certainly not today. He woke up on the right side of bed and then some. It's eight to three. You can see his kill tally is already a 15. We usually say, uh, what? What's a magical half? 20? Is that a good? That's a, that's, that's a ridiculous half. 20 is bloody good for a half, yeah. And he's already 15 already. Let's see this again from Chris J. Just catching up, Brokey. Nasty way to go, but these shots from Nico are looking pinpoint he was, precise. He was just about to be a team player. Well, there you go. You can see him being a team player in the mix. They're setting uh, he, Ivy player up with a flash. So, he's <laughs> <Annie's> here. <laughs> it's always good to have a bit of intel. And we'll see now. Mouse Ball is trying to hunt for summons. They go towards long. Olof Meister with the Mac 10. He won't usually see CTs pick that weapon up, but it makes sense for this sort of round. But a blue box, it's one of the most commonly overlooked positions, and now starting to be checked more often than not. We'll see the scout retreat as Nico continues to find skulls here. Frozen's removed, and at this point, Voxic will have a very tough task and make his way towards A. Nico takes him down, oh. and it's a very, very nice finish towards the end of the round. Four kills in total, all with the scout, two of them with deliver. No, no, we if I had the Motivation, <laughs> the <laughs> skills required, the time to do anything about this, I would do it. But someone should make a proper resource uh, or update one. As we see the double kill come in from Frozen, he might even go for the ace here. As they're so flashed, they're locked out. Olaf might get one with the Deagle here, but it would be a bit of a steal if he did. He knows it. Just trying to find one kill if possible. Gets dinged and down he goes. Frozen will find double digits for Mouse Sports, 11 to 10. I'm going to say it, boys. Mouse sports, I feel like they're replicating their form on train once they get. Uh, three members on A. And that's a 
Inferno flashbang. Wogsick through it. It's frozen to knock him down. No issues. Ooh. Every kill seems like it's met with a flash assist of some variety yeah, on the side of Mouse. I, I said that on train as well. Very they're, tidy. They, they work together before they take these swings, and that's why I think they're such an efficient unit. The Carrigan system, it's all based around working off each other. Yeah. Cross three man set of tools B. It looks very good. They still have the utility of this as well. Robs has a smoke. He'll use that towards the doors when they come in from the middle. This slow stuff is no good. 25. We've seen FaZe punished for running this clock down before. A fantastic flash. Chris J will not be able to support, but they will they check Frozen out. They're coming in from middle. All their backs are turned. They're switching to the bomb already. Frozen takes two. There's more. Chris J's doing it as well. And in perfect unison, Mouse Sports will secure the 13th round. It looked like it was FaZe's all over. <sighs> He set up. Yeah. I want to see Chris J because he's got one HP at this point. Does he get all three <laughs> with one HP? My goodness, he's done well again. The flying Dutchman <laughs> is sailing. That is kind of oh insane, boy. isn't it? Well, they're going to be down to partial bite territory once again. It's to be a bomb Phase site. Screwed. That's a fight. This is no different. Pretty basic approach here. Yeah, it looks a little custom fit. Chris J's being tested again, and they're strafing it as best as they can. Finally, finally, Chris J falls, but it is all in vain. It should be Robs to tidy this one up. Olaf's got no elf, and so one bullet from his M4 should tidy it up. Of course, perfect shot to the head, just for good measure. We have 14 now to 12. Two more from Mouseport securing this series. Carrigan versus his old team, FaZe, and Mouseport's in total are looking very poised to collect it. They do have two orbs to a single kill, and that's Nico hitting a 180 on a dime right there with Rops coming in behind. So yeah. FaZe are trying long again. This time round, Rain will make it to the bin, smokes himself, so at least they have that map control, and that's going to keep these CTs busy over towards long while they take Cat in the middle, but Check Rops, he's there! <laughs> Nico always molotovs that position. He always spams it as well, and when he's not there to take care of it, it all falls apart. They know Rain is stuck behind this smoke as well. They guaranteed it. And there's the kill. Mouse Wars look at a series point here, and they've made them look foolish in the process. This was an underwhelming round from FaZe. Not checking the, the common angles, being absolutely out positioned towards long, and at this stage, a run boost. I think he even hits this. Vox, he doesn't quite connect. He's going to throw a smoke on the side just to find a little bit more time. He gets one more kill to call the round done. Trying to deny the plan the best he can, but they actually are potentially throwing this. But as I say that, it will be a nice finish there. 15 to 12, money at the absolute bottom of the barrel. They have got maximum loss bonus, but 